backwards. That's why um, the, the handwriting looks like it's my daughter that's written it. Because obviously the camera looks things funny. But if you can see this, uh, just click like before we start. You know why? Because it's, this one is going to be a good one. Well, hopefully you're having a fantastic day, obviously. Uh, my name is Prosper. And yeah, just chilling in from Melbourne. As per usual, Paul, cheers, thank you so much, and welcome to the family, man. So excited to have you here. Marie, wie geht es dir? Ich, ich weiß es nicht, aber ich habe... Hey, mein Deutsch ist echt scheiße, aber I wanted to say something, though. Trish, how are you? Sorry, I couldn't go to um, office works in time so that I could uh, flip that uh, photo you made for me. But thank you so much, my love. That was amazing, amazing. Um, yeah, so today we're actually talking about stuff that brings money into your pocket. Um, this is exciting stuff. Obviously, we're here for business. We're not here for charity. Uh, Nicole, how's it going, my love? Um, although, you know, we... We, we tell each other that, you know, we're not doing it for the money. We're doing it because we want to help. You know, we're doing it because, you know, it makes us, um, you know, feel good about ourselves. But the bottom line is we've got families, we've got bills, we've got car loans, we've got mortgages, we've got boat loans, uh, yachts, maybe investment properties, and you've got maybe clothes that you took on a layaway, etc., etc. You're gonna need money at some point, and you're gonna need um, a consistent flow of it for you to actually validate the fact that you're doing what you absolutely love without you waking up and going to somebody else's job or something like that, okay? So for starters, I commend you for taking, you know, time out of your day to be, do, and have whoever, um, whatever you're doing right now and, and, and being a good human and representing humanity in its highest form of entrepreneurship. I really, really applaud you for being who you are. And Nicole, please make sure you're driving safely, okay? It's not easy. It's not going to be easy, but you know what? If we're going to be here helping each other, I'm also learning, guys, okay? This is my way of learning, um, you know, whatever I, I, I read, and then I want to say it back, but what good won't it be if I can impart that which I have learned, um, you know, to you guys that are also supporting me in the process? You know what I mean? And then and, and, and we are all learning together. If something is working, if it's not working, you let me know what's going on, etc., etc. Okay? This is what then prompted me to want to talk about today, um, you know, today's show where... A lot of people are telling me that they are encountering, um, you know, maybe Brock people on their, on their, on their, you know, when they set up appointments, they're encountering Brock people or time wasters, okay? And um, maybe you, 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 you set up a whole stream of, you know, appointments on your calendar and the people don't even show up or the people are just wasting your time or they're not even qualified or they're just wasting time that you could have actually you know, spent with your family or with your whatever, whatever floats your boat. Okay, Francisco, how's it going? And Darren Johnson, thank you so much for tuning in. So there's nothing that's going to be much more frustrating than maybe putting out an ad 50 to $500 and you have a whole bunch of tire kickers showing up on your calendar or showing up to get your stuff. It is very frustrating and we really want to start um, fixing it today and I'll show you the things that I do to eliminate all those people that are there. You can see some of them, they end up leaving a review on my uh, page, you know, my Live Long Digital page saying, oh, he thinks he's all that. But you know what? I'm leaving what I'm supposed to be doing um, you know, to spend time with people like yourself. And I would expect that you are somebody who appreciates it. I would expect that you're somebody who really wants to grow. And I would expect that you're somebody who is doing something to get somewhere. Okay. And, um, the reason, um, Francisco says 1,500 is too low. <laughs> Well, it depends how much you're paying for your ads, okay? So that's what I'm saying. No, nothing is really frustrating about spending all that money on your Facebook advertising only to get 
people that are not um, you know, receptive to your work, okay? Embrace money and it will come. It's not a scene. That's what we're here for, yes? Of course, we're here to actually make money. We're here to actually make ourselves rich. We're here to actually get all the things that we want, our freedom, um, you know, the holidays, all the expensive cars. We all want that, all right? But in the process, we just got to sugarcoat it and make it look like we're just doing it because we... You know, we gotta, but it's all about the money at the end of the day and what value the money brings to you as a person, because the value can now be in experiences, the value can be able to afford, um, you know, your, your the place that you stay, all of those things, all right? So that's where I now help coaches, consultants, and other service providers like yourself so that they can um, package, brand, and market their services to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. All right, so we're still talking about those tire kickers and those people that are usually broke and that are a joke and they're just really trying to pry, you know, whatever value you can, um, you can, um, that they can get from you for free without ever, you know, intending or being intentional about investing in your valuable services. All right. It's not fun. I get it. You know what I mean? But as an entrepreneur, you should also have those people in there and use them. All right, I'm going to show you how I use uh, people that are not paying me as yet to move my products, to uh, bring up social proof, all of those things. All right, so utilize whatever resources that you have because these are people and their attention might just go somewhere else. So you might as well get something out of them while they're still there. And I'm not saying use people, but I'm really saying get the most out of your social connections. You know why? Because at the end of the day, these are the people that would then bring you closer to where your goals are going to be in the future. All right. So this is what I do every single day when I wake up. When I wake up, I reach out to at least 10 or 15 different people. And that's the reason why you're probably watching this now. And that's the reason why we are connected. All right. The reason is if I'm just going to stay by myself and know the people that I know, the only people that are around me are my family, my wife and my daughter. Okay, and all the and those people are never going to be able to pay me. All right, so this is then what I do. I reach out every single morning, friend request a couple of people that I feel like they are in my niche, or people that I might be able to help, or people that might help me, or people that have a bit of influence. All right, so once you start doing that, these people now get into your ecosystem, and once people are in your ecosystem, they get to know, like, and trust you. All right. And when people know, like, and trust you, they start doing business with you. All right. So what we have right now is a scenario where our pages, our Facebook pages are not reaching as many people as we would want to, you know, and, and sufficient enough for us to actually make a living off of social media. All right. Because now Facebook is a company, so you got to pay to play. All right. So I'm using my private profile. All right, to reach out to all those people and start really connecting and making genuine relationships, okay? And also from those relationships, connect with them in groups, connect with them socially. And when I then put out an ad, those people automatically know who I am. They automatically know what I'm offering. They automatically know, you know, what, what, what it is to expect. It's going to be an easier conversion. Or even if they like your ad while it's in the newsfeed, it will put it in front of other people that would not have seen it anyway. And Facebook favors that. Okay. And Francisco says we get paid by results. Exactly. Results that you're giving people that are happy about your products, etc., etc. All right. So half the time when we then end up having tire kickers on our you know, email list or tire kickers that are responding to our ads is because we are not putting enough value into the market. All right. We are not convert converting people first to our ideologies. We're just going in for those people that like shiny objects and they will, you will never run out of people that like shiny objects. All right. If you put up something like, like this, okay. You know what I get most of the time I get, some other marketing professionals wanting to rip off my system and they're like, yeah, 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 let's jump on. Let's jump on. I want that. You know, I want your, your, your blueprint and I give it to them. But b b deep down, I know that this person just wants to steal from me. And when I then look around, I see people that are recreating the system. It's fine. It actually is a compliment to me 
But at the end of the day, you need to cultivate people that will actually make a purchase. All right. So how is it that you do this? All right. So like I was telling you, I reach out to people on social media and this is this is something that maybe some people are not comfortable with. All right. But at the end of the day, you could stay in your own private life. You could stay in your own private profile. But is that paying you? Is that giving you those uh, dream holidays that you want? Is that really pushing you uh, towards your goals? All right? Because you've got an opportunity to have 5,000 people. And of those 5,000 people, you might as well make them into people that could turn into your customers eventually. I mean, you don't have to fill out the whole 5,000 like some other people do. That when you go in and um, um, you know friend request them, they've got enough friends already. You know, that's all, always a, an ego trip. All right. But if you have enough people that are actually consuming your content, sharing your stuff and really, really, really enjoying your company, your productions and everything else that you got to bring out. I swear to you, one day they will turn into a customer no, no matter how long they've been with you. OK, so we, we've seen how kindness, honesty and just generosity online is actually getting rewarded these days, you know, you know, and yet. Some people still have those internet conversions um, where they're just putting out a sales pitch or self-promoting themselves. I've got a mantra within my business where I say you do not pitch until you have provided enough value. And that person goes in and says, oh, okay, I think this is enough. If Prosper is giving out all this information for free, I wonder what's behind closed doors. All right. The Internet is now, you know, getting heavier and heavier with a lot of sales pitching and sales promotion by the minute. How do you then stand out of that whole crowd? Do you know what I mean? You know, this this whole sales pitching is not is not only turning customers off. It's just giving people like us who are digital marketers or Internet marketing a really bad rap. And making it more and more challenging for businesses to actually convert their contacts into sales. And that's something that I am championing. And most of the times you will notice how I literally despise anything that has to do with MLM. All right. It's not that I'm against it or whatever. It's just the, the way they bring out the message, the way they reach out to people is just. I don't know. It makes me so mad because I know this is how I intend to be making a living for the rest of my life. So the last thing I need is somebody who is going to be, you know, <laughs> crapping on where I'm about to eat from. Right. So that's my biggest enemy right there. So it's all these people that are just self-promoting and not even providing any value that are making it difficult for the real people to actually penetrate for you to actually, you know, make a living out of this Internet biz. Now, Francesco says people don't want to be sold. Um, they want to be closed. <laughs> Great stuff. I talked about that in another video, but I can just elaborate on that in a little bit. Old style marketing plus incentive based Commissioning. I think you're talking about the MLM there. All right. So essentially, you know, there, there are a few marketing strategies that you can actually add to your daily practice and so that you can set yourself apart and turn your online communities or the people that you're reaching out to into profitable business transactions. And it's super duper easy. You know what I mean? See, see, what, what's more is that these activities will actually increase your return of investment for your online efforts. All right. So without you sounding like, you know, your, your, your sales peachy or what I like to call sales beachy, you know, because at the end of the day, if you go in and just because somebody swipe right, you already want to Netflix and chill with them. It's going to be a harder conversation than if somebody has known you for more and more times. They already know who your style. They know exactly, um, you know, how you talk, who you talk to and how you Talk to those people and how you react to other things which are not concerning, um, you know, your, your content. All right. Once people know how you interact with other people, I think there's something they say that people judge you by the way you treat the lesser person. I think um, something like that. So let's say you go to a restaurant, the way you treat the waiter, the way you treat the person uh, who sits you down, the way you treat anybody in the restaurant says a lot more than who you are, about who you are, than the way you're treating your date or whoever you've gone out with. 
All right. You should be very mindful about that because you, you're probably going to be too nice to your new customers. But all the other people that are around you, if you're not going to be treating them well, people notice that. And then there's no longer the no like and trust you factor on that. All right. So this is now where you really want to put in all the efforts that you're putting into your um all the effort that you're putting into your social media, you should now use it to cultivate, um, you know, you should now use it to cultivate really good returns. Jay Tara says, great info, stay blessed. Uh, thank you so much for this. It makes me feel so good. All right. So what you want to do is when you reach out to these people, okay, every person, every profile that is on Facebook is a human being. All right. There's flesh and blood, teeth you know, fears, love, and the credit card behind every profile. All right? So at the end of the day, if you are not going to be nice to that person, there's no way they're going to vote for you, all right, with their credit card. Because that's the only reason why, because we're presidents in our own little, you know, minds, our own into entrepreneurial spheres. We are the presidents. But for us to be in power, we have to be voted into power by credit cards. And these credit cards come from, you know, the, 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 the flesh and blood and, and the people that are behind every single profile. Eric, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much. Makes me feel uh, blessed. So this is what I do. I'm very generous, guys. Half of this stuff, I don't want to lie to you. I sit down maybe 30 minutes before, write down a few notes, um, read maybe prior, and just come around, show you my blueprint. It's an everyday thing. It might get old to you one day, but the fact that I'm generous and I'm consistent about it, that's the reason why you're going to start putting in all those likes right now. Okay, you want to share your knowledge, you want to share your expertise, and you want to you wanna really, really be free with the stuff because you know what at the end of the day somebody can just google it all right what you want to be is the curator of really good content there's so much gunk on the internet all you got to do is just put it into concise little bite-sized bits so that you touch on a little bit you know and then it just feels like you have helped somebody get from where they are to where they um possibly can be all right nobody is stupid I don't want to lie to you. Everybody is really, really smart. And I'll tell you why. Everything that we're using, every single thing that we're using, every software, every microphone, every phone was created by somebody who's not any smarter than you. So don't think that your clients or people that are following you, they're just fans and they're people that don't have feelings or they don't have credit cards to give you if you, um, you know, be generous to them. So when you share your knowledge, all you're doing is really, um, you know, opening yourself to other people. Because we are humans and we believe in reciprocity. I can never say this word, guys. <laughs> reciprocity. The more you give, the more people would want to give back. And the only way they can return that favor is with their credit card. Unless they want to come and wash my car after I take it on a trip around Australia or whatever it is. But... That's suggests that's the only way, you know what I mean? So avoid the attitude that people are out to get you. Nobody cares about you until you start showing them that you care. George Lichman, thank you so much for tuning in. All right? Instead, have the mindset that people are really out to do business with you. They already know this stuff. They just need somebody who can guide them. Or maybe you've, you've known it, you know, maybe three, four years in advance that they have. Just show them stuff that you know and make it a whole lot easier for them so that they can also accomplish their dreams and their goals. Do you know what I mean? The more generous you are and with, you, with your expertise and your resources, the faster people will connect with you online and would want to do business with you. And because, you know, they've already had a sneak peek of what you've got to offer. You know, converting them is just putting them across the line and, and making sure that you all you're just doing is, is, is putting a few calls to action here and there. All right. So I also use the, the, the three times um, and three contact point rule. Do you know what I mean? On the opposite side of generosity is you just have to have at least 
I mean, it might sound like it's an oxymoron or whatever, but you gotta have some boundaries online as well as to not give away too much. All right? So at the end of the day, don't go in and then just plow in all your information. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying whatever you know, just go in and, and, and put it online. No, I'm just saying give enough at least to bait people in so that they want to know a little bit more, um, you know, than, than more about what you've got to offer. Do you know what I mean? When you've so when you're sort of directly emailed or you're approached for advice by people online, you know, offer your service no more or no less than three times after they have sort of asked you a few questions, okay? Don't just go in and say, just because somebody asked a question, you automatically say, hey, go and buy my product. Do you know what I mean? Spend, you know, spend a bit of time, find out exactly what it is that that person wants and diagnose accordingly, all right? Can you imagine when you go to a doctor and he's probably just, uh, yeah, reading a book, do you know what I mean? He's probably just reading a book and then you go there and you're like, hey, doctor, I've got the flu. And it's like, yeah, go to the pharmacy and get, um, uh, you know, whatever me medicine. You know why? Uh, because I think that's, that, that will cure you. You haven't taken the time to find out what exactly is wrong with this person. But I'm not saying spend your time learning people. No, just be there for people. You know what I mean? It's, it's hard to grasp, but there's always a... Um, there's always a, a, a small balance right there. So maybe you're in a group or something like that. If somebody asks a question, don't just sh show them your link to your page. Ask a few questions. Correspond with that person a little bit more. And then there's one thing that actually separates the broke person from the prosperous person. is the way you ask for business. All right? You know, you know, some of us just go in, bah, 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 yeah, I can do this for you. But you don't know what I need done. You don't know what I've done before. You don't know what's been done to my work before. You don't know how far I've been with this, etc., etc. So when you ask all these questions, you're opening up that person. And you know what? People like to be heard. So the more the person makes it out like it's their own idea, the conversion becomes even easier for you. Do you know what I mean? So this is why social media is actually a really gold mine if you know how to use it. It's social for for a reason, guys. Don't just use it to just hook people by the I'll let Trump finish that one. Alright? So and and while you're doing that, try not to start acting really desperate when people, you know, start you know interacting with your content. You know, there's a big difference between being desperate and being very sincere, okay? So you want to make sure that you really, really start, you know, formulating these relationships and find out exactly how your service is useful. If, if your service is not the best uh, look, hand over the business to somebody else. They would appreciate you a whole lot more for saying, I'm sorry, I don't think I can handle your work, but I know Prosper is really good at things like this. I'm shitty when it comes to landing pages. I'm the worst when it comes to um, all the other technical gobbledygook. I've got a guy that helps me so fun. God bless him, he's an amazing guy. Do you know what I mean? For me, I need his help, so I then transfer all of that so that I concentrate on what I do best. All right, so if you're gonna be Acting desperate in front of people, people can smell it a mile away. And people don't like to do business with people that just, you know, because you just want to do it for the sake of another deal, you know? All right? Customers are smarter these days and they can tell the difference between if you're just wanting to close that deal or if you really, really can help them with their problem. All right? I'm going to leave you with a couple of things. Do what is called, um, I've, I've mentioned... I've sort of coined it as the spam check, S-P-A-M, all right? I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, it, it, it flips the thing for me there, all right? So make sure you're not selling or pitching after meeting, all right? A lot of us do that. Just because somebody swipes right, you automatically think they like your stuff, all right? That's spam, guys. Just because somebody just says, hey, how's it going? Oh, watch this video. Oh, here's a link to my program. 
Selling or pitching after meeting is spam. Go tell your mama I say that. All right. So if you start a sales pitch before you've even established any rapport, you're spamming. All right. And sometimes customers, they're immune to that. Their spam goggles go way beyond Vision 2020 and they can see you from a mile away. Right, so they that instantly shuts the relationship. So you, you automatically have a grand opening and a grand closing in, in terms of that person's mind. Right? So are you talking your way out of a cell or do you know what I mean? Just start by really, really listening. There you go, really, really listening, and end conversations by actually asking questions that will help people. Do you know what I mean? See, so by doing this, your services and your offerings will be more sort of a natural conversation. You know what I mean? Offer instead of you being a, the, uh, a forced sales speech. All right. So you really need to have all of these things and whatever you're doing in order to look very professional, have a communication plan in place. Do you know what I mean? Once you start to engage with people, just make sure that, you know, you've got an ongoing plan to sort of stay in touch with them. On Facebook, if you're messaging somebody, it, it, it makes you create a plan with that person. Just in case they're not ready now, you know, you just make it like, oh, I'm just going to leave this, you know, so that we can speak next week or tomorrow or whatever. Make sure you follow through. And usually the great way to do this so that you're not instant or consistently in their face, just grab their email address and then maybe send them periodic updates or get them to subscribe to something like your Facebook or if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to our channel, etc, etc. The reason why I utilize people that I reach out to a lot is to build social proof. Guys, you're gonna need this in business. These days, no matter how much you're going to tell a customer that, oh, yeah, you know, my, um, my, 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 my business is the best, we are the cheapest, etc., etc. It's not going to help you get anywhere with clients these days. You know what? There's that animal called Google Ad. Rebecca, how's it going? Melita, thanks for tuning in. Do you know what I mean? So you want to build social proof. If somebody is not paying you now, at least get them involved in your business by getting them on a call or something like that and let, getting them to leave a review on your on your page or something of that uh, effect. The more people that are saying really good and nice things about yourself, the more you become, you know, you become easier to grasp in people's eyes as a business person. Because who would want to do business with somebody that nobody knows and they're like, oh yeah, just give me your credit card. Yeah, yeah just, just give me a credit card. You know? For people like me, I don't want to lie. I really need to have the social proof. Because what's the difference between me and that Nigerian prince who's writing out emails and saying, Hey, listen, you have 400,000 Naira that's sitting in a bank in Djibouti. You see, in the, in, the, in the eyes of the normal public today, I'm not any different. So that's the reason why you need to build that social proof that no, there's actually people that have transacted with you. There's people that have actually seen you, have been around you. He's not just in an office in some house somewhere where he's just going to be, you know, cobbing people's knees that don't pay him. You are going to need to build social proof especially with the people that you reach out to that are not yet ready to pay you. That way, they've made a little bit of a commitment to your brand. You know what I mean? They're going to want to see it through. And before you know it, they become your customers. So, you know, just ask yourself, do you have testimonials or recommendations on your social sites, especially on Facebook if you've got a business page or on your website or on your blog? Are people talking about you? Are people saying good things about you? So social proof is just basically providing your prospects or your target market, you know, the, 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 the thought that you are worth doing business with. And it's just a no brainer. You know what I mean? So it shows your potential uh, prospects, you know, how great you are and that you actually have a product that is worth their time. LinkedIn is usually a really good place for you to get those testimonials or recommendations or Facebook. Do you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, just like me, guys, just be yourself. 
All right. People are tired of phonies. People are tired of copycats. Every second person online has copied their status from somebody who was there before them. All right. Don't try to be somebody else. You know why? Because people are watching. Just because they're not interacting with your stuff, it doesn't mean they're also not interacting with other people's stuff. All right, so if you're going to try and hustle like Gary V, you don't know what team he has behind him. If you're going to try and hustle like, uh, who else is that day? Maybe like Prosper. You don't know how big a team he's got behind him. All right, so don't try to be somebody else just because you think it will get you in front of, um, you know, the right kind of clients, etc., etc. Or it's going to lead you to business or something like that. Customers really want to feel like you're, you're, they're doing business with somebody that's real, somebody who is true to their word, and somebody who's going to last a whole lifetime. Not somebody who's insincere. So just whatever your character is, be that, because that's your personal brand. Bump William, thanks for tuning in. All right. So guys, above all, I know it's a 30 minute episode, but we, we get too excited on these, don't we? All right. I want you to share this video, guys. If you found a bit of value in this, please share it. It helps, um, you know, my sponsors to think that we're doing something. I'm not just sitting here and talking to myself and by sponsors. I mean my wife and my daughter, because otherwise I could have been sitting there with them watching Peppa Pig or um, what are we watching these days? I don't know. On Netflix, I just pop in and out. So if you can share this, that also helps with my social proof, like we're talking about. And also, it's a good experiment that if you start sharing other people's stuff, they will take notice. And when they take notice, if I start, you know, recommending your stuff with my social pool and social presence, you also really, really start reaching higher um, grounds then. Okay. So above all, guys, just don't hold yourself back from reaching out to new people. All right. Every best friend that you have right now was once a stranger. Your wife, you did not know them prior to, to, to getting married to them. Do you know what I mean? I mean, prior to meeting them the first time, I know it will be stupid. Uh, it will be stupid, you know. So every, every person, because if you're just going to be in your own cocoon, all right, the people that are just around you in your Facebook is your grandmother, your mother, your father. They are just going to like your stuff because they don't want to hurt your feelings. You want to go to the people that will actually vote for your sub, sub, you know, sub sustenance by giving you money. All right. So you, you don't want to hold yourself from reaching out to new people, groups or industries. All of my team, the people that help me behind the scenes are people that are actually I've met, um, you know, I've met in groups, etc., etc. <coughs> Guys, no disrespect. The internet is full of millions of new contacts for you. All you got to do is engage with them sincerely and leave out the selling. Leave out the spam. You never know who you're going to invite or who's going to accept your friend request will be the next big customer you have been waiting for. All right. I didn't have a mic today, but I'm just going to drop this pen. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to share this video, please do. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. Tag a friend. All right. And also in the comments, let me know what you want us to talk about tomorrow. If you haven't picked up the blueprint, there's a lot of call to actions now. If you haven't picked up the blueprint that will help you start scale and grow your business, please do so now. Comment blueprint. All right. Share this video. I'm going to be out.